last day on board Britannia. We are at a sea day today going around the south coast of Cornwall on our way back to Southampton. We've kind of started making over our room this morning. We started packing up our suitcases. They're kind of half done because you do have to put them outside the room for 9 p.m. tonight, I believe it is. So we kind of started to pack them. We thought, you know what, we'll come for some lunch. We had a lay-in this morning for the first time all week, which was like really appreciated. So we've come up to the buffet now. I might pop outside and get a burger or a hot dog from the, um, the Lido deck. And Dan's just gone down to get some food from the buffet. So it's now just gone 12 noon. So all the food places are open on deck 16. So I've just gone to the pizzeria on the Lido deck on deck 16 and I've ordered myself two slices of pepperoni pizza and one cheese pizza with a side salad and a coleslaw. I was actually meant to go to the other side with those burgers and hot dogs but by the time I kind of walked there and realised it was pizza I couldn't bother to get in the queue for the other side so I just got pizza instead. So I might get a burger afterwards, depends on how hungry I am, or I might just get some dessert from the buffet. So the buffet choice is pretty abysmal today, it is pretty much all fish. So I haven't even been to the buffet, but you've really put me off today. Yeah, I had mash and cabbage. Mm. And I see you've left some cabbage. It wasn't the cabbage I thought. I thought it was that creamy stuff that we had in. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, somewhere. But, I think um, it was here. Yeah. It was pork day. So you've just had pizza, and now you've kindly gone up and got us a burger and hot dog from where? That's from the. Um, so I think it's the burger bar. I don't know the name of it. Um, it's on deck 16 by the pool. Other side of the pizza. verdict on your burger? The burger was really nice. Oh, good. The bacon and the cold So yeah, it was lovely. How was your hot dog? It was really good, yeah. Even though I've never heard of it in my life. What's it called again? Just a New Orleans hot dog with onions and yeah. gherkins. Very barbecue based, mm. but it's very nice. It looked good. Yeah, that was good. So now we're in the crow's nest. Yeah, it's like a bit too relaxing up here. It's like a library. I walked in and there's two people asleep. Um, this is my sort of place. Yeah. <laughs> Dan had ordered me a Pepsi, so we're just sitting in here for a bit now and chilling. Oh. What was that? Too much glare? Yeah. We just got some room service. It's our last night on board, so treat yourself. We had this for my breakfast in bed the other morning that we haven't drunk yet. So we thought we would order an orange juice. Boom, from room service. I don't think you should say what this is. No? Anyone any ideas? It's not Jumanji. <laughs> oh, it does look like it, ready? Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, you haven't seen this yet, have you? Oh, wow. So nachos, chili, I um, don't know what they are. Oh my god, it smells amazing. I don't want to say they're like jalapenos, I don't know. Um, they're my favourite things ever. Get that box of Sainsbury's, love them. Guacamole and salsa, Tex-Mex. Do you remember how much that was? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. This though was two pounds sixty for tiny orange juice, which crazy. But it's the last night, we're going to have champagne, orange juice and some Mexican food. I should check this out. So stupidly, he just shook the champagne. I know. So this should be quite entertaining. I've got a sock or something. Is it not screw? No, it's a cork. Oh, because you didn't talk to me. Do it at the camera. Do it over the floor, though, at least. Oh, not I towards like the glass. It. Yeah, well, I'm pointing it outside, so I go the cork. <laughs> oh. Yay! Cheers. Oh, they're not plastic. That's a relief. You're supposed to drink after a cheers? Yeah, not, but I wanted more drink. Not fill it up. So. Well, it's not as bad as the one we had on Morello, is it? No. That was like paint thinner. Oh, this is quite nice. Is that good? Mm. It's really nice. It's nice chilli. So, I mixed my champagne with Robinson's and it's really nice. So... I'm not a fan. Huh. You've just got an orange juice and champagne. Yeah. I'm quite into these. It's jalapeno. Oh, yeah, yeah. And 
Is it cheese? I assume it's cheese, like cream. Last night. Last night. Look at you in your palm tree shirt. It's obviously a special evening. This is my now last night of cruising <laughs> shirt I'm going to wear every time we go on a cruise. Yeah. It's good luck. So today's vlog, we're going to be disembarking as well. So it's going to include tomorrow. Yeah. So just to let everyone know that. This is the last kind of happiness we're going to have. And then when we get off the <laughs> ship tomorrow, it's going to go right down. It's just going to end them all alone, I'm afraid. But then we're going to get home, and then we're going to realise we've got another cruise in three days. Just a couple of days' time, yeah. yeah. So we can't really complain, can no. we? No. <laughs> what? What are you shaking your head at now? You asked me to get you an extra Yorkshire pudding. Oh, yeah. So I was like, can I have an extra Yorkshire pudding, please? Yeah. And he didn't understand me, so we cut three more bits of beef and put them on the plate. So now I've got, like, half a cow on the plate that I've got to eat. Oh, do you want me to give me need to have the beef? Oh, I can give you some beef. That was a joke. Oh. I thought you would love it, really. No, just, well, I would, but it's just a lot of meat. <laughs> and uh, I don't have room to put broccoli on or anything, so I had to forego the vegetables. Let's go back then. So no. you've got roast beef and Yorkshire pudding with dauphinois potato. Yeah. Oh, my Yorkshire pudding's going to get wet. And I've got Cornish pasty with Ooh. dauphinois and Yorkshire That's pudding. Very random. I know. That might work. Yum. So we thought you'd show you the desserts, but... um kind of eaten them well most of them so this was a carrot cake cheesecake which was yummy that was a coffee eclair oh wait it'll still look like a coffee eclair look oh hang on oh look it's brand spanking new oh, nice. you didn't really like that did you it tastes like a rebel but not a nice rebel like the coffee rebel's okay it's <laughs> like a gross rebel that's gone off and then we have some chocolate orange mousses which um, are the bitterest chocolate I've ever had. It tastes, it reminds me of like glazing for a cake, like that chocolate icing mm. and it's just like that and it's mm, Yeah, you know. I hate wasting food but this is the first time we haven't eaten the desserts on here Yeah. and yeah it's a shame. Anyway though, how was your main? My how main. was all that beef? You know <laughs> it's all about the beef, about the beef, no veggies. It was really nice. Um, yeah, I quite liked it. And I did eat it all, you know, I said it was a struggle because I had no vegetables and yeah, I ate it all. But it was really nice. I didn't finish my Yorkshire pudding though. But that's because I ran out of gravy, so I could like skew up the gravy with it. No, it seemed quite stingy with gravy, but I'm sure if you ask again. Oh yeah, I just pulled my plate and was like ladling it on, I just pulled a sugar more. <laughs> um, how was your Cornish pasty? Peppery. Is it? But it's supposed to be peppery, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Nice to have something British. Mm. So, yeah. There's been a lot of like Indian food up here and I've loved it because I love Indian food, but Dan doesn't. So it's been a bit hard, isn't it? And a lot of fish as well, which I imagine is normal for a cruise. Yeah, that's nice. Well, look, we're turning. So, oh yes, here we are. Yeah. So we're up on deck. You can feel it turning, can't you? <laughs> This is 18, isn't it? <laughs> this is 18, yeah. So down there in deck 17, you've got a dip pool. Is it a dip pool? I think so, it's, yeah. Um, which is quite nice. I, I'm amazed that people aren't using it at this time because that really stunning. is amazing. But this bit's closed off in the evening. Um, but yeah, we've got it all to ourselves. This amazing. Yeah, look at that colour. Stunning. What's the plan? We are going to hit up the live lounge because <laughs> it's a pink tri uh, tribute. Yeah. Um, and then from there we're going to go up to our room to put our luggage out. Luggage out. So we haven't spoken about that actually, have we? No. Um, so we've got to be out of the cabin by 8am. Yeah. And then where we got to go? We've got to leave the cabin at 8am and then we've got to go to Brody's. Um, about to, half nine, isn't it? To be chucked off at 9.20 to 9.30. Yeah, so we've got an hour and 20 or an hour and a half wait in Brodie's before we're allowed off the Well, ship. we're not allowed to go to Brodie's until that time. Oh, are we not? So we have to either go to the buffet or the restaurant. Or chill somewhere. So, so I can't, I'm dreading what 1,500 people in the buffet is going to look like. Yeah. Um, I'm sure yeah. we'll find out soon enough. And we also have Silent Disco tonight. Are yeah. you excited for Silent Disco? I am. I've always found Silent Disco so awkward, but... We've got some friends. Drink. We've got some friends who I'm hoping we're going to meet up with later. They're going to dance with George. Um, hopefully. I like to dance with people. I hate dancing on my own. And, um, and I ain't dancing. No, you're not. So yeah, should be meeting up with them a bit later on. And then we'll just go back to the cabin, I guess. We might go to the crow's nest. Um, yeah, we'll see. We might not. 
Right, Life Lounge, let's go. You ready to take part, Georgie? I am ready. Just waiting for our friends first. Are we ready? Dancing in September, body on. Never was a cloudy day. Body on. Dancing in September, body on. Dancing in September, body on. Never was a cloudy day. going down and yelling timber so we're back in the cabin it's half past 12. how's your evening been do you know what i've had a really nice night do you even remember what we've done no yeah. not a clue okay so let's go through this we watched pink yeah well not pink but how was pink, pink? i thought it was good because i like pink music um but i thought her lady gaga collection was, was stronger yeah yeah but it kind of had me because i like pink yeah. pink kind of soundtrack yeah then we went up and saw sunset didn't we yeah went all the way up to deck 18. that was actually before pink oh. so we've already got lost in time oh, i've already confused it's but yeah the colors um yeah the sunset um i'm sure the footage you've seen everyone's seen it yeah. it was just beautiful and like the reflections on the water it's so nice so peaceful and tranquil yeah. And then we went to the Crystal Room. Yeah. Um, and we watched the Britannia Orchestra. And it's kind of like jazz lounge music. So it's nice and it's easy listening. And then we had a movies quiz. Um, Which we thought we were going to do really well in. Hmm. Until the, one of the questions popped up. Who directed the 1966 movie dot 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 dot. And we were like, um. And then what's the other one that got us? It was music. It was music. It was what is um, the film that this theme song is from. And we recognised it but couldn't get it. <laughs> and then we... <laughs> another question on there was... Um, what was the name of the pian pianist in Casablanca? And we were like, I'll just go for Dave. It wasn't Dave, it was Sam, so we got that wrong. Anyway... That was quite fun, um, although we didn't really know many of the answers. Then we went up for the silent disco. Yep. Uh, we met Holiday <laughs> with the Headers, and Dan didn't dance, he's not into dancing. Um, but I put my little headphones on, and I had a blast. I had a really good time. I sang away, I danced away, and it was, it was cold, it was quite chilly outside, but I was just sweating because I was dancing so much. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I had a really good time dancing away under the kind of stars because it was a bit cloudy um i went around and took photos of the sky and the moon mm -hmm. which i'll put on now um so for anyone that doesn't want to dance just take your iphone and go for a wonder and have some fun with the camera because other smartphones are available yeah you can um, get some really good images so yeah whilst you're waiting for your other half to dance the night away yep and then after the silent disco me myself 
Jess and Wayne went to the Crow's Nest. And me. And I said you, me, Dan, uh, went to the Crow's Nest and we had a cocktail and listened to the music, which is a pianist playing musical classics. And that was quite nice and relaxing. And then we went to the buffet yep. to get some food because we were and all really hungry. What did they have? They had, wait for it, kebab. Um, yeah, I had a kebab and I had two kebabs and then I choked on my kebab. And there was no one else there apart from Jess, and she kind of like helped me through my choking. Um, and that was that was a bonding experience, that's for sure. And then we've just come back to the cabin, haven't we? Yeah, so it's bedtime now. When we next speak, it's going to be morning, and we don't really know what's going to be happening. So, wish us luck. Say goodnight, Georgie. Good night. It's eight o'clock. It's a sad, sad day. Have you woken up? No. <laughs> I'm just piecing together little bits of everything. Uh, yeah, we've got three pieces of hand luggage. We presume there isn't a limit now, so we're just going to go for it and see what happens. Still so let's leave. Yeah. Sorry, what were you about to say? We've still got an hour and a half on the ship yeah. until we can leave, though, which is quite annoying. But so bye, room. Bye. You've been good to us. Buy flowers. What you got, Georgie? I have got <gasps> nothing. I might get some in a minute. I'm feeling a little bit hungover from yesterday. So a bit meh. <laughs> so you finally got some food. Yeah, Dan said there was light options. But then I wasn't that interested. You went running up there, the light options. <laughs> So, it's the busiest we've ever seen it in the entire cruise. Yeah. So, the, there were queues of the lifts, every lift was busy, um, and yeah, it was hard to find a table, and this is the first time we haven't sat in on our kind of table. Which is now empty, ironically. Annoyingly. Yeah. But yeah, it's really busy. Yeah. I just can't imagine what this is like with full capacity. It's still reduced capacity, isn't it? Especially so, on a day like this, mm. when you're disembarking. It must be a hell on earth. Yeah. It's got to the point where we kind of just want to get off and on the road. Yeah. But we haven't got that long, have we? At least we have food. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got a two hour drive ahead of you. So, But um, yeah, we might not talk to camera again. Yeah. Um, so you'll see us disembark. And then um, that's going to be it. So. It's the end of the cruise. Yeah. It's quite sad. But you're going to say bye in a different way. Mm -hmm. So we'll leave we'll leave it to the other Georgie. Yeah, I've already <laughs> said goodbye. So here he goes. Yeah. <laughs> bye, Cindy. That we never went to. Bye, twenty terracotta plates. <laughs> bye, Atrium. Look at it was here, no one took it, yay. <laughs> That brings us to the end of our cruise on board P&O's Britannia. We do hope you have enjoyed this vlog series. If you did, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below. You can also check out georgeanddan.com for a list of all the Horizon daily schedules and all the menus from the restaurants we ate in on this trip. And we'll see you later.